So today, we're gonna paint on glass. So if you're interested in something like that, stick around and we're gonna make this Ikea vase a little bit more interesting. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I'm just so happy that everybody's been giving me a lot of love here on the channel lately. It's been really great. So if you are new here, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. So I bought this several years ago at Ikea. I thought it was really pretty. I love the shape and all that. And the color was just really like kind of a dusty rose. But to me, it's just kind of mm, blah. So I'm going to do some glass painting on it that'll be permanent because we're gonna bake it. So the first thing we need to do when we're doing this is gather all our supplies. So if you have any kind of glass at all, it doesn't matter, it could be a mug, it could be an orange juice glass, it doesn't matter, an ashtray, I don't care. Um, <clears throat> just any kind of glass. I'm just gonna happen to be using this. So, and on top of that, we need to clean this. So that, they, they call for alcohol, but you don't have to have alcohol if you have pure acetone. I mean pure acetone, not fingernail polish remover, pure acetone. This works really great too. And our paints for today are made by Folk Art and they are an enamel. Now it is a type of acrylic because you can clean up with water. Um, so if you look at the lid, you see the little glass on top, that's how you can tell that it's meant for glass painting. So this will work on anything. I just happen to have a white, a gold, and I also had black and a teal, but I didn't think those colors would look good on this. So I'm just gonna use the white and the gold today. So um, these I bought at Walmart, of all places. Um, they have all the instructions on how to use it on the back. Um, so there's, it's really foolproof. So we've got that. <coughs> and I'm going to be using a three quarter inch flat brush for the main work. And we're gonna be doing a different type of style when it comes to using the brush. It's not, we're just not gonna load it up with paint and just slap it on. We're gonna be doing something different. I'll show you here in a second. And a liner brush so we can get some like little viney things on there. And then just a fluffy brush. It's it's a uh, number 10, it's my artist loft. So it's kind of meh, but it works for what I need it to do. Um, so we're gonna use this to do leaves and such. So, and then I've got a little thing of water and I've already put my paint out on my palette, which is just a paper plate. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and clean this glass. And just a little bit of acetone. And all this is doing is taking any oils off from fingerprints and, and whatnot so that you know that the paint will actually stick because if there's fingerprint oils on here, it doesn't stick as well and it's going to end up coming off eventually. So you want to make sure that it's nice and clean. And 100% acetone does not have any oils or anything in it. It's straight up acetone. So you don't have to worry about it adding oils where fingernail polish remover actually has like scents and colorations and oils on other stuff. So you don't want to use it. So <clears throat> what else? Okay, so I'm gonna take my paint. I've got napkins galore here. And I'm gonna sit it here so it's a little bit now if you notice I'm holding it by the top. And the reason why is because the paint's not gonna be coming up to the top anyway. Especially like if this, let's say this was a champagne glass or a wine glass or a mug or something like that, you don't wanna bring that any of the paint up to where your lips would touch the rim because this is you're supposed to keep this away from ingesting it. Apparently it's, you just shouldn't. So you wanna keep all your paint down low so that you can actually use it later because this stuff is dishwasher safe. I've proven that fact. So I'm gonna wet my brush just a little bit. Use this for my 
brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, this is a really cool technique. Um, I'm just gonna double load my brush. And what that means is I'm going to be putting one color on one corner and another color on the other corner. So you see this? Now it's got two colors on it, gold and white. And then on my palette, I'm just going to blend them together just ever so slightly and then go back and get some more. So that, see how it's just blended in the middle just ever so slightly, just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just like a little, like a teardrop. And go back for more paint. So you gotta go back every single time. Now if the gold doesn't seem to show up, that's okay. We're not going for a whole lot of gold on this pass. We just want it to be a little bit where it shows just a little bit. So you can just tap some of that in there. And then I'm going to come down here. And go like that. I hope y'all can see this. And swoosh. You don't have to really, you can always wipe it off and start again, which is really cool. And I've been painting on glass for several years now. And I've, I've painted all types of mugs and all sorts of things. And I just love the way they turn out because it's just... It's fun to see what all you can get away with. I haven't done this in quite some time, but it's still, I love doing it. This technique looks familiar to you. There's a lady by the name of Donna Dewberry who came out with what's called the one stroke method. And she's the originator of this technique when it comes to, you know, painting on just about anything. The woman will paint on anything. And if I can find it, I will, I will, I know she has a YouTube channel. And if you Google, or, you know, just go on to, to YouTube and you just look for Donna Dewberry, you will see a lot of this stuff. I mean, she's like, oh, she has so many pretty things that she's done. I definitely suggest everybody go and look, look for her if you're into this sort of thing. If not, you know, but she does have a lot of good tips on, on all sorts of painting, so. But the one, the one stroke is her baby.
So, we got kind of a little bit of a flower there. Step, I'm going to show you how to do the leaves and it's kind of the same process but you use a different style technique when it comes to the way you hold the brush because you're using a different type of brush right now. Now I'm going to show you, this doesn't want it to lie down. And now I'm going to show you how to do the leaves. I'm going to clean this brush up really quick. I've used this technique on a lot of different articles. Like I painted my mom and dad's, uh, I painted their mailbox using this technique and I've done TV trays and just all sorts of things. Shoes, t-shirts, all sorts of goodies. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put gold leaves, just gold leaves. I'm not going to use the white for this. Just the base is going to be gold. And I'm going to turn this on side a little bit. Now for a leaf, you want to really load up your brush full of paint and sit it down on its tip and lay down and lift up. And it makes a leaf. And if you turn the brush just a little bit, it gives that little You guys can see this. Okay, I'm gonna leave that brush there. Now I'm gonna take my liner brush that we, we saw. And I'm going to also lay it in some gold paint and do a little bit of just a little bit of line work here. It's not super noticeable, but you can still see it. Now, the liner brush can also do like little, little leaves, but not as well as the round brush. in the light and highlight what you've already done. Put 
some more leaves out here. And that is how you do that. Now, after we're done with this, what we're going to be doing is, um, I need some more gold paint. <laughs> We're gonna pop it in the, in the oven and it goes into a cold oven and you can just sit right on the, on the racks. You don't have to have anything, you know, no fancy trays or anything like that. Just put it into a cold oven, turn it on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm sorry, I don't know what that is in like European terms and Celsius and all that. I, I don't have a clue. Maybe I'll look it up and I'll add it to the video or something. But off the top of my head, I have no idea. And you bake it at 350 for 30 minutes. And then you shut the stove, the, the, you know, the oven off. And you let it sit in there and you let it cool off in the oven. So that it's it's cool, you know, it's cool enough to where you can touch it because the glass will get super hot. You do not want to try and go in there and, and touch it. Um, just let it cool until it's completely cold. Depending on the thickness of the glass, it depends on how long it takes it to cool down. And then, when you take it out, it's finished. You don't have to do anything else to it. And it will be dishwasher safe as long as you put it on the top rack. everybody that is how you paint on glass and literally you can paint anything you want to on the glass it's entirely up to you you can you know paint little birds or butterflies and the more colors you have the better and I'm gonna be doing more of these so if you know if you want to see different colors on clear glass or anything like that I will be doing more of these you know to show you how it's you know, and then show you how they turn out afterwards. So that's it, painting on glass. I'll pop a picture in here at the end of what it looks like and me touching it after it comes out of the oven. But until then, I hope to see you in my next video. Love y'all bunches. Bye.